Dibble um, is a blockchain technology company. We're based in the UK and we're actually um, registered with the FCA. So we're registering the crypto asset um, list. And we have been on a sustainability journey really since the day we were founded. You've had quite a journey at Zumo when it comes to the sustainability world when it comes to Bitcoin. So could we start off by having you explain what your journey has been so far? So going back about three years, uh, we were started to do a lot of work on the environmental impact so of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency mining and, and what that means to us as an intermediary. So as a provider of cryptocurrency services, how do we fairly apportion that and take responsibility for it as part of our own carbon footprint. Most recently, we've launched our own product, Oxygen, which allows us to provide really everything that we've learned and all that kind of knowledge and experience we've built up as a service to our clients so that they can account for their own carbon footprint. I just wanted to say, I think this is great that you're doing this because when I meet people and they say, oh, you're in the Bitcoin world, literally, that sometimes they do say to me, don't you feel bad about all of the electricity that is generated? And I'm like, Oh my gosh, okay, where do I begin? It's a bit of a complex topic. I know there was a whole panel dedicated to this topic at the London Blockchain Conference where you were one of the panelists. Yeah. So can you share with us some of the main points that you guys talked about and help the audience understand when it comes to sustainability in Bitcoin? Yeah, I mean, a key part of our discussion really was all the nuances that you've just spoken about. So on the one hand, we have this big electricity consumption figure. We have this big carbon footprint. But we have that because it's quite an easy to measure sector. Our sole input is electricity. The thing is, it's not a straightforward question. And I think people often equate this big number to bad environmental impact. Yeah. And of course, we need to take account of our own environmental impact and we must decarbonize as a sector quickly. But there are always nuances around these things. And actually, the fact that we can point easily to that number, which is our carbon footprint, means that we can take action to reduce it um, through the use of renewable electricity. One of the things I find useful is to explain to people that there actually is utility to Bitcoin. There's so much you can do with it. Yes, there's a lot of electricity, but when there are reasons to use Bitcoin that actually make an impact in the world, that it's going to be it offsets the amount of electricity used. So that's actually a key point that we discussed yeah. in the panel earlier as well, and, and actually a really good point to raise, because actually the the environmental impact of the financial sector, I should say the TradFi sector, yeah. the environmental impact of the TradFi sector is less in the operation of it and less in the use of buildings and more about the investment decisions that it supports. Yeah. And this is something called financed emissions. And so if a traditional financial institution is making investments, giving out mortgages as yep. loans, yep. then actually they have a carbon footprint that's associated with those financial instruments and with those kind of assets and investments. And we do have the same within Bitcoin and within cryptocurrency. We were going to talk a bit more about Oxygen, mm -hmm. uh, which is your solution over at Zumo, which I'm sure you're really excited to talk about. So can you give us just a few more details of what you're measuring, how it works, and why you're so excited to be talking about it here at the conference? Yeah, so Oxygen was a product launched by Sumo last year, and it enables us to work with clients and allow them to measure, mitigate, and prove in terms of their own environmental impact, specifically their carbon footprint and electricity consumption. So we work with um, partners that are data providers, that are tokenized direct providers, and we can work with clients then to apportion their um, electricity consumption or carbon footprint associated with their crypto holdings and crypto activity because the transaction and the moving of cryptocurrencies about also has an environmental impact. So we work with them to quantify that and apportion it. And then we work with them to mitigate against that. So through the procurement of renewable energy certificates, um, which are the market instrument really for, for renewable electricity, um, and then to prove that on the blockchain too. Amazing. Well, I'm so happy to see you here at the conference and that you're so excited about this, but to see the smile on your face, it makes me happy too. Chris. I love talking about this. <laughs> I know you have to. Oh, oh, great. And we're so happy to have you here. Thank you very much for joining me and enjoy your time here at the conference. Thanks very much. It's great to meet you.